Alright guys, in this video we'll be going over an efficient route for the Nilo Pala Lotus, which is a character level up material that you will be needing for Tainari, which I'm sure a lot of us have at this point. Um, but before we get into it guys, of course, help me out here, get this video into the algorithm, smash that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment. So this route does require a couple of waypoints. Uh, you're going to need these two at the Devantaka Mountain. Um, and then you're going to need this one up here leading up to Sumeru City. Or this one, but I, I prefer this guy here. And then uh, you're going to need this top left one here in Sumeru City. And then this one preferably on uh, the Shatrakam Cave on top of the hill here. This one is definitely preferable. I guess you could use the other one, but uh, this one on top of the hill is, is what I would recommend. So this route is going to start down um, at the Devantaka Mountain right here at this waypoint. All right, so as soon as you get there, you're going to jump and fly or glide um, straight forward. And you're basically just looking for this... Uh, dog leg shape and you're gonna just drop right here at the heel and uh, right in front of you you will find your first three lotus and then directly across from these lotus you'll find another four And then directly from here, we're going to go straight to the Statue of Seven here at the Devantaka Mountain. And then immediately you're going to look to your right, kind of by this rune guard. And you're going to jump and glide down that way towards the river. Then if you look here on the left, you'll see the eight lotus you're, you're looking for. And then after collecting these eight, you're going to go to the waypoint just in front of Sumeru. And you're going to head directly for the waterfall here. I follow the wind. Uh, there's only going to be one lotus here just to the right after you kill that lady or if you've already killed her and then you're just going to head straight for this uh, for this little hill this little much smaller waterfall where there will be another four Then what you're going to do is I believe you're going to hug the left side of this river. Where you will collect three more. Then you're going to jump on over to the right here and collect this last one. After which uh, we're going to go to this top left waypoint up in Sumeru City. You're going to look to your left, uh, head in this direction again towards the river uh, just below Sumeru City. Get attacked by a fucking tiger. Here you're going to grab this one on the right and then you're going to hug the left side of the bank here.
go across this little way, grab this last one, and then uh, I believe we swap over to the right side of the bank here. Collect these two, and then I believe there's another four uh, just up ahead. I just stayed on the right here. Um, and because of that, I had to backtrack. So of course, there's there's a more efficient way in collecting these, but I do believe this is the the route that everybody should take here. Then you're gonna turn around and you're gonna head for this waterfall. Basically, looking for this area down here. After making it down here, you're going to collect these two lotus, kill this fucking alligator, and then the last one is just over this spit of land here. Then from this point, you're going to go back to the, um, or up to the Shatrakam cave waypoint on top of the hill here, and you're going to be going right about here. Again, you could use the other waypoint, but I prefer this one because, um, you know, you can just glide down and drop down to the riverbank here. After collecting this one, you're just going to go behind the palace and follow this, this river and uh, collect another four. After collecting this one, you should have about 45. We're going to go collect, uh, I believe, three more. So you'll go back up to the Shatrakam cave wave point and you're going to look for this little island over here on the left. You'll glide down, you'll see your first one uh, just right here. Head on forward, collect. Maybe it's two more. Yeah. And then right here, there is another lotus in this area, but you make it pretty close to the map that's undiscovered, so it'll probably teleport you out before you can get to it. Now up here in this undiscovered area of the map, there are another six. I didn't include them because it's undiscovered. I basically chalked it up to a story quest, I guess, is maybe when it'll be undiscovered. I'm not too sure. Um, and then there are another two lotus up here in this little riverbank just by the chasm, but they felt out of the way, so I didn't really include any of those either. Um, but... Ultimately, 48 with this route if that part of the map is undiscovered. If not, you'll end up with over 50. Every two days, that's well over 100. And uh, that's that's plenty, if you ask me, uh, doing this route. So, again, guys, smash that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. It helps this video get into the algorithm. And turn on that notification bell if you want to see more of these videos. Also, join our Discord down in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.